Hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will begin a brand new series on Windows Server 2022 administration. In our previous episode on Windows Server, we did install Windows Server 2019 and configure Active Directory. But then later on, I realized that Microsoft has Windows Server 2022. Since this is the latest and greatest of the Windows Server operating system, I decided to abandon the 2019 series and just begin a brand new series on Windows Server 2022. So let's begin. The first thing I'll do is open my web browser and download Windows Server 2022 ASO. So I'm just going to come to English, which is my language, and then I will click on download the ASO for 64 bit edition. So make sure to choose the appropriate language that applies to you and then download the ASO for that. Another thing I will do is to put this link in the video description down below so that you can just click on it and come on this page and download the ASO image for Windows Server 2022. I'm not going to download it on my computer because I've already downloaded it. So I'm going to minimize this. The next thing I'm going to do is to click on start and then type virtual and then it's going to open Hyper-V Manager. So I'm going to click on that. Hyper-V Manager opens. I'm just going to right click on the name on the left and then come to new and create a new virtual machine. When a new virtual machine wizard opens, I will just click on next. And for the name, I'm just going to type Win 2022, just put DC for domain controller 01. And I'll put the next. I'm just going to put the processor to generation two and click on next. I'll just keep it to full gig memory and keep it to use dynamic memory and then click on next. I'm going to connect the network to the default switch and click on next. I'm just going to keep the information for the virtual hard disk to what is here by default and also for the default hard drive size of 127 gig. I'm just going to leave those there and then click on next. And for the operating system, I can click on install an operating system as for the ISO image. I'm going to search for server 2022 ISO. So I have here, I'm just going to right click on that, click open path. I'm just going to select that with control D, control C to copy, minimize this, minimize this. Click here, paste that link, press enter. It's going to bring me straight to that. I'm going to click on the Windows Server 2022. I'm going to click on Open. I will click on Next. Then this is just a summary of everything that we have selected so far. And I will click on Finish. And then we'll get the virtual hard disk. Now I'm getting an error message. Anyway, I'll click on Close. I will just click on Install Operating System later. Click on Next. Click on Finish. And just right click on it. Click on settings. Let's look at a few things. Security. Make sure I activate trusted platform. And then keep it this special. This is okay. Memory is okay. Processor is fine. So I had to pause the recording of the video to try to troubleshoot the error that I was getting. And what I noticed was I needed to update my windows on my laptop. I've updated my windows and then restarted my laptop and just log in. But once again, I'm just going to come back to the Windows Server 2022 virtual machine that we created. Right click on that and click on settings. And then I will just come to the SkyZ controller and click on DVD and click on add. And then I will just Click on image and then browse to the ISO image for server 2022. So now I have the server 2022. So I can click on that and click on open. Again, I can just search for the ISO image. So I guess the error that I was experiencing had to do with me needing to update my windows on my laptop. If you are experiencing the same error that I was experiencing, make sure to update your host operating system. So whether on your laptop or your desktop, just make sure to update the windows. So I'm just going to search for Windows Server 2022. You can just say Server 2022 and then right click on this, click Open Path. And then what I usually like to do is just to press Alt and the letter D. It highlights everything here. And then I just press Control C to copy. I'll minimize that and I'll minimize this. And then I'll just come here and click and Alt and D and press 
Control V to paste and press enter. It will just take me straight to that location. And then uh, we just click on the Windows Server 2022 and click on OK. And I'll click on apply and click on OK. Yeah, so yeah, my Windows just needed to be updated. So I'll right click on this and click on connect. It's going to open this window and I'll click on start to start my virtual machine. I'm just going to maximize it by clicking in the middle. And I'll just allow it to boot up. And I'm going to begin the installation of Windows Server 2022. So just like Windows Server 2019 that we installed in our previous Windows episode, this is pretty much going to be a very similar installation process. So at the very first screen, you have the option to select the language that you want to install the operating system in. And then it gives you the second option to set the time and the currency format. And your third option has to do with just the keyboard layout that you are using. So for me, I'm just going to keep it to English US and then time currency as English US even though I'm in Canada I don't think it has English Canada but let me check probably has English Canada go up check for English Canada I think I think it does so I'll come down to look for English Canada yeah so I'll pick English Canada for my time and currency format my keyboard is US so I'm just going to keep that and then English or the OS it doesn't give you much options for the language. When you are downloading the Windows Server ISO, there is a version which is a multi-language ISO image. If you download that ISO image, it's going to give you a lot of options in terms of choosing the operating system. The ISO I downloaded was just for English US. So I'll just come back to the web browser and just come to the server tone. Yes, it's because I downloaded this one. So this one is just English US. So this is French, this is German. Usually they have a version that is multilingual, but I guess not. Anyways, doesn't matter. So make sure to just choose the appropriate ISO that is linked to the language that you want to install it in, and then you are good to go. So I just going to minimize it, come back, I'll click on next, I'll click on install. So it's pretty much similar to 2019. So let's go through it and see maybe there will be a few differences or probably not, we will see. So we're just going to give it a few seconds and allow it to start up. I'm guessing that this installation is taking forever because we selected four gigabyte, which should be the minimum memory requirements. So probably if we are increased to eight gigabyte, then this would have gone quickly. So we are now at the screen to select the operating system. So again, similar to Windows Server 2019, we have two options to either install it as a standard edition or to install it as data center edition. And then with each of these edition comes the desktop experience. So if you choose the desktop experience, it's going to install the operating system with the graphical user interface. And then when you choose these ones that like for example, if you take data center without the desktop experience or standard without the desktop experience, it's just going to install it as a command line, which is server core. These two options will give you that. So again, between standard and data center edition, I'm going to leave a link in the video description below. So you can just click on it and just familiarize yourself with the difference. But most of the time it has to do with the number of processors supported and just other additional features. For you to get all of the features and capabilities of Windows Server 2022, the data center edition will be the option that you want to choose. But again, we are just doing this installation for evaluation purposes. So for us, we will choose data center edition. But make sure if you are doing it in a production environment, your choice here will actually be dependent on the license that your company provides you with. Also, we'll click on Data Center Edition and Desktop Experience just to have the complete graphical user interface. So click that and click Next. And then you can take your time to read through the end user license agreement. So accept the agreement and click Next. At this stage, you will click on Upgrade if there is an existing operating system. Like let's say we have Windows Server 2019 and you want to upgrade, you would pick Upgrade. Well, since it's a new installation, we'll take Custom. But usually also with my experience with Windows, for Upgrade, you wouldn't do it like this. Usually you will boot up the existing operating system, log in, then from within the operating system you insert the dvd and then you launch an installation from within to upgrade so i don't know whether microsoft has changed that but usually for upgrade it has to be done from within the operating system instead of from and putting directly from the dvd 
Anyway, so we'll click on custom and then this is the hard drive. At this stage, we can choose to split this partition into two or to just install the entire operating system on this hard drive. So I personally prefer creating a partition and then say and divide it into two and have the operating system installed on one partition and then use the other partition to put the data. So just in case in the future there is anything with the operating system that requires reinstallation, then you know that you will just format that partition that has the operating system and reinstall it and your data is safe on a separate partition and you don't have to worry about it. So this is 127 gig. So let's say I'm going to open my calculator. So 127 gig divided by two. Let's say I want to divide by two equal to this 63 and then times 1024 because 1024 megabyte equal to one gigabyte so i'm going to multiply that by 1024 to get a megabyte equivalent so i press enter it gave me 65024 so i'm going to put that size here 65024 and i'll click apply and then when you click apply usually it will tell you this that because you're going to install windows make sure that your windows is going to create additional partition for system files so you just click on ok these are the partition so partition one and partition two were automatically created and they contain system files so just don't select those ones just keep it on partition three which is the primary partition that's where you want to install the operating system and then the other partition is on allocated so what we could do, we could click on this on allocator and just click on new and apply and then come and see the partition three and then install on it. From within the windows, we can activate this partition. For now, because it's on allocator, when you go within windows after the installation and you go to the file explorer, you will not be able to access this. I'm going to keep it on allocator and I'm going to install Windows Server 2022 on partition 3 and then from within Windows during the post installation we will set up this partition. So I'm just going to click on partition 3 and then click on next and then it's going to install. So I'm going to pause the video and then after the installation I will come back and continue. So as you notice, the Windows Server 2022 installation has completed. So the server is just going to restart. So I'm, again, I'm going to let it to do its thing. And then once it comes back, we're going to complete the login process. So now that we are at the customized settings, we need to set up a password for administrator. So make sure that the password is complex. Usually complex password simply means that the password should be at least eight characters and it should contain lowercase letters, uppercase letter, and then a special character and a number. So just make sure your password is complex and then you repeat the password and you click on finish. And then it finalizes. This area has to do with how big you want the screen to look. So I'm going to drag it up so that it can be full screen and I click on connect. And then I'm going to put my administrator password and press enter. Now, my Windows Server 2022 is loading up. So I'm just going to minimize it while it's doing its thing. I'm just going to click on Media, come to DVD, and inject the ISO image from it. Once I've injected the ISO, I'm just going to maximize it, close this. Just going to click on Local Server. And then it's going to bring me into the properties of this computer. And then when we look at it, we can see here that we have installed Windows Server 2022 data center evaluation edition and then yes the hard drive is 62 gig the installed memory is here and all this information as well so i'm just going to minimize this i'm going to open my fire explorer and then i will click on this pc and you'll notice that it just has drive c so it's not showing the other partition because that other partition is unallocated in the next episode, we will do a post-installation configuration of the Windows Server 2022. This brings an end to this video, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.